Hello there. How are you doing? Oh, you're doing all right. I am so glad to hear it. And me? Well, after 32 weeks of lockdown, I am still sane, still well. What was that? If I'm so sane and not crazy, what was I doing with a piece of string stuck to my nose? Ha! Ah, a good question and I will answer that in just a moment. <laughs> you see, it's called determining the point of view. I've got a new plan. I have a new ambition. I have time on my hands. So it's a good opportunity to revamp, redo, restructure my cockpit room. Now, the cockpit, as you can see here, is all made by open cockpits in Spain. Good people down there. You've got Miguel and you've got Ruben and all the rest of them, and they are doing very well given the pandemic that struck Spain just as bad as it has here in England. By the way, we are going into a second lockdown here. Hmm. I'm really looking forward to that. I was hoping for a reprieve, or is it a parole? Well, one or the other. Now, all of these parts, as I say, were made by open cockpits. You've been asking about that as to where I get them from. So that's where I get them from. And here, here is the web address. By the way, I was worried about uh, the people down in open cockpits with the pandemic that they'd been having. So here's a message for Miguel. Hola Miguel, yo Ruben, también. He visto su último video en YouTube y estaba muy feliz de que ver usted y todo el personal de open cockpits eran seguros y en buen estado de salud. Por favor, Cuídense y hablaremos muy pronto. Just letting them know that I saw a video of them just recently, and that reassured me that everyone was doing very well down in Spain. So despite the pandemic, open cockpit staff are still doing well. Now, back to what I'm going to do in here. Up until this point, I've been using a projector up here and the screen there. Many of you have said how dreadful the frame rate is, especially when I'm moving left to right. So I've decided I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to add a second computer and tie them together using uh, Opus FSI software that will connect the two, uh, two parts together and give me, I hope, some good frame rates. And then I thought, well, you know, I only went with the projector because the cost of televisions, large televisions, uh, when I did this was astronomical and well out of my reach. Now they've come down in price enormously. So I've decided I'm going to do away with the projector and the screen, and I'm going to turn the simulator around so it's an facing that way, and I'm going to use three 65-inch monitors for my external views, which I'll be running on the second computer. The plan is that it will then give me more and better frame rates. So this was all about establishing a point of view. I needed to know the angle. I also need to know the distance. 
that I'm going to, well, let's go to the other side and I'll show you what I mean by the distance, shall I? Well, here we are at the front end of the simulator and here are the strings showing the point of view. Now, in order to find out how far away I need to put the simulator from the screen of the television, I have to measure. Now, I've already measured this and I've got a mark up here which represents the border around the screen, the bezel, and here's the actual bottom of the television screen and their dotted lines represent the bezel on that. So if I'm going to do this, I'm going to need to put it so that and move it backwards and forwards and keeping keeping it nice and perpendicular until I get it so that it's actually going to show me how far away I need to put the main instrument panel from the face of the screen. So that's what that's for. Also, I've got this little thing and this shows me the degrees so I can then measure the angle between the screen and my point of view which for those of you who have done it that's what you need to know when you're setting up multiple screens to get the point of view on the television screens or the big uh, monitors that you may have. The next thing I needed to do was to find out from this it will then show me how many centimeters from the ground to the bottom of the screen. So I've got this and I was able to determine the bottom of the screen would be about right here and the top would be about here and again keeping it uh, nice and perpendicular so therefore I can determine exactly how far up I'm going to need to put it on the wall and this is the wall I'm going to use now I haven't got the markings on it yet but that I'm going to do very shortly. Right, let's show you how I've been planning all of this. So let's go and have a look at the plans, shall we? Right, here we are. This is the plan of the room, doorway, and of course it does actually have a door, but I took it off the hinges because I couldn't get in and out with the simulator and this represents the shape of the simulator in there and the screen is over here. I have some a shelf here for all kinds of different materials and there's a wardrobe in there which is holding all kinds of spare stuff. So I'm going to have to redesign this. So slide that off and that off the idea is I'm going to move the simulator in this direction. Now I have to know how far of course away from the front. So here's the size of a 65 inch television screen and I was able to determine that from the edge of the uh, glare shield the distance between the television and the simulator is going to be 47 centimeters there's about 47 right there and that's on the center line 
that's the distance. See, each one of these little squares here is 20, so that would be 47 centimeters. And then the side televisions, I'm going to put one here at 45 degrees. And the other one here at 45 degrees. Notice I'll have a lot more room at the back here to be able to get in and out and the door will actually work this time. I've got a window over here which of course is going to be blocked in any event and I'm going to block it with the wardrobe which I'll put here and the shelves I'll put there. So this is what I'm going to end up with in this shape. 45 degree angle and this is the plan now I did do some drawings and as I told you earlier on I need to show you how I, I got to this so here's the wall there's the floor here's the side view of the main instrument panel this is the part that slides down if this is the screen then I've got the 47 centimeters distance in between that and the actual edge of the the glare shield this is where I've got all kinds of wiring and plugs and other stuff at the front the point of view I worked out to be 105 degrees here and 70 degrees there so that is how I'm working all of this out. Hopefully, it'll all come together. So, that's the mischief I've been up to. Now you know what I'm going to do, or rather what I'm planning to do, and whether or not I'll actually be able to have it all done in any short length of time is another matter. But, I'm in a lockdown. I can't have any visitors, I can't go anywhere, so this is probably the best plan for me. I can actually update and upgrade the, the flight simulator to something halfway decent. So, what do you think? I'll check back with you and give you an update report very shortly.